Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Gabrielle. Hello, hi. Today's video is a very exciting one because I'm trying on my prom dress after 10 years. So I actually have the dress right behind me on this row here, but I thought before we do the big reveal, let me do a little bit of a story time on how I came to choose this dress. So I remember prom was booked and it was edging nearer and nearer and I still didn't have a dress. I remember we had this Facebook group and all of the girls would post in what dress they have in order to not have somebody turn up in the same dress as you. And all of my friendship group asked me, look, what are you wearing to prom? And I had no idea whatsoever. All I know is that I had it in my brain that I didn't want a long dress and I wanted something that wasn't just from a high street shop. But one evening I was sat watching TV and who remembers the show? No it, no like it, take me out. And there are about 30 girls on there and I was just watching it and then I saw this girl with this very interesting dress on and I thought, that could be my prom dress. Ordered it, arrived, and I didn't particularly love it. So I thought, okay, let me just do some alterations because I really like the bottom half of it. It just had this weird neckline, I'll show you in a minute. And so I went and got it altered. I remember I got it taken in. God knows who I thought I was. I was only 16. That is the one and only time I've ever got anything altered. But I guess it is a prom, so credit where credit is due there, creative, God knows. So I got it altered and I was absolutely in love. So now it's time, I guess, to reveal the dress, the prom dress, 10 years ago, I was wearing this dress to prom to celebrate the fact that I had finished my GCSEs. dress 10 years ago I was wearing her <laughs> what do we think first impressions so glitzy so glitzy so glam look at all of those diamantes Woo! and when I was mentioning earlier that I got the dress altered it actually had another section to it up here and it had diamantes coming all around and a halted neckline I just thought oh I remember the title oh that is so glitzy that is too glitzy let me remove this bit so I was thinking that I was being understated in this I mean credit where credit is due it's not glitzy all the way down but one thing I will say is look how tiny I actually don't think I'm going to fit on that, so maybe this video won't even be posted because it's going to be an absolute disaster, I'm not going to fit in it, but I get where I was coming from. It is not too over the top. I feel that sometimes American proms, girls can go super glitzy, super glam diamantes, you know, those flowers that go on the wrist, head pieces, so mm, anyway, let's try it on. I can't believe I fit in a dress from 10 years ago. Well, hello, Tinkerbell. <laughs> I'm in. Who can believe it? I'm actually in. So this dress is ready to pop at any moment in time. I apologise if my boobs are looking kind of really saggy. It's not sitting right because the back of this is about to rupture. Let me tell you that. You can see all of my back fat is exploding right now because it definitely doesn't fit the same as it did 10 years ago. Let me tell you that. So that is the first observation that... Your girl has got curves now, okay? I didn't expect it to fit perfectly. In fact, that would be weird if it fit perfectly because it is 10 years ago and I was a child and I'm now a woman. I think that's really weird because I view myself as a 13 year old in the brain, so it doesn't really add up that I am now 25. So, oh my goodness, I can't believe I'm in this dress 10 years later. Let's just review it. I absolutely love the cutout on the dress. I think that is a really cool element. Again, it just shows a little bit of flesh and it's fun. And, oh. Now, one thing I am not a fan of is this floaty, fairy, sheer <laughs> number going on. Doing that, it makes me look like I could go tap dancing. Maybe this was meant to be a dancer's dress. It would make sense, it makes sense. Like a do 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 do. Woo, a showgirl outfit with all these jewels. I can bloody imagine it. So that is the kind of overview of it. It's really plain and simple. And I'm actually gonna get this dress off and we can go and look through some photos of the big day because mm, your girl can't breathe. Dress is off, thank the Lord. And I've just got comfy because I wanted to talk through the whole look on the day, go through some photos and just assess what I was doing 10 years ago on prom. So I'm gonna put a picture on screen of what I thought was the iconic look of the prom. It was my profile picture, it was the picture I showed everybody, my family, when they're like, oh, let's see your prom pics. I thought that Liv and I looked 
gorge and I just absolutely love this picture. So, <laughs> first of all, the pose okay I'm thinking that I am a debutante I'm thinking that I'm about to walk a red carpet and I just <laughs> I just don't know what to say clearly I'm loving it I'm absolutely loving it and then obviously second of all I have to know the hairdo the up to should I say a big quiff now I actually remember we actually hired a hairstylist on the day to come and do all of us girls hair gosh we thought we were the dog's bee okay clearly because what 16 year old has a hairstylist never in my life have I ever had a hairstylist again I don't know why because I deserve a hairstylist in life but mm, don't think I would do that hairstyle again Definitely not. Too big, too 80s. I mean, this was in the 2010s. I don't know where I got this idea from. A very young, innocent face, and then I have an 80-year-old hairstyle. Yeah, it looks like I'm about to go and play bingo, so a bit confused on that one. I do look skinny. Love that for me. But let's discuss the shoes, because why the hell did I think it was okay to wear six-inch platforms to a prom? Why would I do that? Honestly, why? actually I know why I did that. Because I thought the shoes went perfectly. I remember I was in New Look and I was looking for matching shoes. And again, I wanted to go for the simple all black look. And they were these black six inch platformed heels. But the special thing about them was that they had silver gems on the back. And I thought, oh, you match my dress. No, Gabrielle, they might match your dress, but it doesn't mean you can walk in them. And walking them, I could not because I remember getting stuck. I got stuck at prom. I got stuck in a drain. Luckily, I didn't fall over, but there is actually a picture I remember Jess took of my hill stuck in the drain pipe. I will insert it because it's so funny. So funny and so typical me because I'm the most clumsiest person ever. And I didn't think, oh, I'm wearing six inch heels. Let me just be careful with this drain pipe. Let me just step carefully, mind my way. No, I could just tell that I love my outfit. And to be honest with you, looking back on it, I think I actually did a pretty good job. Of course, my opinions and tastes are going to change 10 years later. But I'm actually not mortified. Like, if I had to wear that prom dress out, that whole outfit out, I probably wouldn't be that embarrassed if I could fit into it properly. <laughs> Although I would scrap those heels because never and again would I ever wear heels like that in my entire life. It's not worth it. That does bring me to the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed. It was so fun reminiscing, actually getting back into the dress. Crazy! 10 years ago. Sorry, but why does life go so quickly when you turn into an adult? Am I even an adult? It just doesn't make sense. I'm not an adult. But thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please do try to like, comment and subscribe for similar videos. And I will see you in the next one. Bye!